Live at 5. Firefighters on the scene in the cold working to rescue two people. Good evening, I'm Jessica Gill. Joe Chiodo is off for the evening. Happening locally, live at 5, new details in local breaking news. A woman is dead and a man in critical condition after a house fire breaks out in Council Bluffs. This just a day after the start of a new year. Neighbors react to the tragic incident. Our Lena Tillet has the story. Awakened to the sounds of sirens and the smell of smoke, Robin Gilmore and her daughters became frantic when they learned their elderly neighbor, Mary Brown's home, caught fire. I'm just very close to Mrs. Brown. She's 88. Uh, every day I check on her like she's my own mother, and she's been like a grandmother to my children as they were growing up. But Gilmore never made it over Friday morning. Firefighters say four people were inside when the fire started in the basement. Two people got out of the house on their own, including Brown. But Brown's son, who was disabled, had to be rescued and was taken to a hospital in critical condition. And one woman never made it out of the basement. She died in the home. Smoke still emerged from the basement an hour after the fire was out. And the scene still emotional as one of Brown's daughters arrived to see her mother's home heavily damaged. I don't know what I'm going to do with her not being there tomorrow or the next day or the next day with her house burned down like that. I just don't know what I'm going to not going to be the same. Investigators say the victims had no warning for a fire that spread quickly. They didn't find a single working fire detector in the home. Gilmore's daughter, Grace, who brought blankets to help warm Brown, questions what's next for Brown's family. It's just been really hard for the past couple of years, and now she has nowhere to go. In Again, that was Lena Tillette reporting. We're